The organization we worked the most with this summer, because um, we worked with about three different organizations, but the one that we spent the most time with was called the Bennett Lobby Group. Basically the story is the, the, the Bennett people lived on top of Mount Elgon, which was this beautiful you know, 15,000 foot mountain covered in waterfalls and forest. And in the 60s, the government of Uganda, um, in collaboration with the government of Kenya, decided that they would turn the whole mountain into a national park. And so the government moved the people off the mountain and gave them a land resettlement package down, uh, down kind of like two thirds of the way down the mountain. The local government was given the responsibility of distributing the land to you know, the people that were coming down off the mountain and basically the whole process was sort of hijacked and the land was pretty much stolen from these people. So you had a whole ethnic group of, you know, of about 30,000 people who wound up with no land. So most of them went back up into the park. The Bennett Lobby Group was formed in order to both advocate for these, their indigenous land rights and also to kind of work on addressing the development issues that arose because of you know, having no settled land where they, uh, where they could live. We first identified what their issues were and packaged them for the advocacy component, but then we also had to take what their issues were and to sort of help them form their organization around being capable of addressing those issues. So if they had, you know, identified education as one of their priorities, they didn't necessarily have a specific group of people whose job it was to work on education or, you know, they didn't have a specific group of people whose job it was to fundraise or whatever. So, I mean, they didn't have, they didn't have resources, they didn't have any organization, they, nobody knew who was supposed to be doing what and how they were supposed to be doing it. So the other part of what we did was to really just help them to solidify their organization, you know, to turn the organization into a viable and productive organization. But with this sort of an internship, all of your expenses are front-loaded. So before you even leave, you know, you're going to spend three to four thousand dollars. I received a little over four thousand dollars and it pretty much covered all of my expenses for the whole summer. It would have been really difficult to do without having gotten the scholarship from the internship fund committee. I was in the Peace Corps in West Africa and I've really done a lot of things in my life and this summer's internship was one of by far one of the most amazing experiences that I, I've ever had.